What's up guys and welcome back to Iron Mustang. On today's video we're going to be installing our boost vacuum gauge from Autometer. It's uh, part number 5701. We're going to jump in the box, check it out, and get it put in the vehicle. Alright, so there's basically a little overview of what's included in the box. This is going to be pretty straightforward. Basically for the boost gauge, I got a 30 inch mercury to 20 psi gauge. Um, based off my supercharger settings, this is probably the most appropriate gauge for me. All right, so the first thing we got to do is pull the pin back here that held the gauge at zero. The light's pretty straightforward, pops in the back, give it a little twist, locks it in place. I don't think we're going to use these uh, little colored coverings just yet. Now, these are the style bulbs they come with. I would have uh, liked it to be a screw-on style like the rest of my setup, so I could have put it in one of the LEDs I have, but we'll run this for now and see how it goes. Both of these fittings are identical. I'm just going to show you on one side here. Basically, you unscrew it. Inside, you're going to have a small little, like a furl, and then your uh, two end pieces that screw back together. What we're going to do is thread this through the small nut. Then we got to put the furl on to the hose, which could be just a spec tricky. Just screw with it for a second, you get it on there. There we go. Got it on there just a little bit. Then we're going to put the hose in, slide it up to it, and tighten it down. And I'll probably tighten that down good with some wrenches later, but uh. So I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I'll kind of try to show you what I did here. Took off the, uh, the uh, um, engine brace that goes across right here, just so I can have a little bit of room. I got a wire that goes up through there, through one of the grommets. Um, this little area right here, basically if I punch a couple new holes right here, it goes right above my AC unit and... I'll be safe to drill. It's just, uh, it's real tight. So I don't know what we're going to be able to see, but let's come around here and check it out. All right, right there, you can see the grommet. So I'm going to punch a couple holes right next to that. One, maybe two. I kind of want to reroute where I put the AFR through. So I was trying to avoid punching extra holes, but I forgot I needed to punch another one for the vacuum line to come through the firewall. So I'm probably just going to move this AFR wiring over while I'm at it and kind of clean up my engine bay just a little bit. Those should work pretty well right there. They're kind of nice and hidden too. You can't really see them unless you're really down on top of them. All right, so let's kind of recap where we're at real quick. I, uh, I took the AFR gauge that I had kind of going all the way across and hooked over into there. Now that I realized I needed to poke the second hole here, um, I just went ahead and redid that one up. That's what pretty much took most of my time. I probably would have liked to have those wires the opposite direction, but that would have required a crap load of deep painting and redoing some looms. So I'm pretty okay with that. It looks a heck of a lot cleaner than it did. I ran the hose through my grommet. Fished all my wires back inside the car. <clears throat> I repinned this one back together. That really doesn't have anything to do with this video. So basically here we are, right here. Um, part of the original loom that I did. Basically all I got going on is, this is the hot wire right here. And I have, you can see a red wire and a yellow wire coming out of it. Basically that red wire uh, comes down through there, 
So it's an ignition source in the ground that we were using for this gauge. We just uh, jumpered into the cables and we're jumping across to basically just to power the light bulb. So let's go do the gauge side real quick and then we'll come back and do the car side. So I went ahead and crimped the pigtail connectors on here. Um, I always like to put the ends that go together on the alternating wires. That way, when I do the other set, I don't mix them up if I ever take them off or adjust them or whatnot. And being as I got one more gauge to wire, I'm going to just do the same thing. I'm going to make myself another set of jumpers off of this wire so I can just keep the daisy chain going. Now on the car side of things, just make sure we got the right connectors going together. I'm going to strip back my hot, make sure my car battery is disconnected. I'm going to uh, put an extension on it. Like I said, we're, we're still jumping over the next one. And the red one is going to the white. Make sure I got the proper connector there. There it is. Slide both those wires in together. Get my crimper. Really like this crimper. So I already put this fitting together like how I showed you guys earlier. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten it down right now. The sizes on these are 3 8 and a half, just so you know. I'm sure that's probably over tightened like no other right there. Give it a little tug, make sure it can't come out. I think we're good to go. All right, so <clears throat> I did go ahead and wrap this fitting with Teflon real quick. And the last thing we got to do, do on the uh, car side of things is just screw this guy into place. And then I'm going to take my two electrical connectors here, attach them. Now, I did go ahead and put the electrical connectors on. The next side for my uh, for my last gauge, which is going to be the voltmeter, but I can tell you I already messed up. Um, they don't fit the same style as these other ones, so we're going to end up taking these off. Now I'm going to put this back in real quick and just kind of show you guys the finished result. And then, all right, so my vacuum manifold um, is about right there. I need to get some of these videos I've already shot off my phone. Keeps running out of room. So, I'll show you guys what we've done here. Basically, I already, uh, if I can move the fuel line, put the little T fitting in. I um, tightened that on there. I did use the Teflon on it. Not sure if you're supposed to use Teflon on plastic, but I did it anyway. I'm going to go ahead and push this thing over there. So, before I start the vehicle, I'll show you guys a quick mistake I made. The light, I wired it to the ignition wire in from up here that I actually the one I ran off this one. It, it shouldn't have been wired like that because this is a mechanical gauge. The light should have been wired off one of the light uh, hot wires from up here. So when you turn on the vehicle lights, that turns on. Um, this gauge doesn't have a backlight. So anyway, quick little fix. I'll show it in the next video when I put the, uh, the voltmeter there. And let's see if it works. Anyway, it's a little cold outside right now. Um, I'm going to change all my plugs, change a few things in the carb now that I got these sensors working. Um, anyway, gauge works. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Uh, definitely learned something not to do from my mistakes. And catch you on the next one.